What's up everyone? Another malt review here. Mikey, I'm Narby. Malt reviews. <laughs> um, we're reviewing something incredibly special. So we are, we're really, really into whiskey and we read a lot about whiskey. And obviously there's endless amounts of malts and we're constantly out chasing for that perfect malt. But one thing that we keep read, kept ready, reading about is these famous 1966 vintage Bowmores that are just known for being so fruity and so unique and so different and so special and so much better than any new or version of Bowmore. So we obviously, after reading a bunch about it, hearing a bunch about it, other people talking about it, uh, we really, really wanted to try one. So we got this 40-year-old Bowmore 1966 vintage bottled by the independent bottler Duncan Taylor and these particular single cask 1966 versions by Duncan Taylor are very famous so we were kind of had an idea of what it would be like because we heard so much about it read so much about it and really really wanted to try it so we finally pulled the trigger and decided we wanted to get one and here it is so this is special review a 40 year old Bullmore bottled in 19, vintage 1966, uh, bottled at 43.2% ABV. And to be exact, this is cask number 3312. And this is bottle number 63 out of 130 bottles. So only 130 of these in the whole world. I'm not sure how many casks uh, there were. Uh, the 1966 Duncan Taylors, maybe 10, maybe 20, I don't know. They're all a little different, but they're, they've all become quite legendary. And like Narby said, this single cask, one cask, only 130 bottles yielded. This is bottle 63. It's handwritten on the label out of 130. So every single cask is very special, obviously. Limited bottles, but very unique, each one, in its own right. Let's check it out. It's a big drink. All right, exciting, obviously, for us. We're not only drinking a 40-year-old single malt, but Bullmore in the 60s. Come on now, forget about it. This is gonna be amazing. So I'm guessing, I'm guessing it's probably, uh, it's Bullmore, you know, they could do light sherry casks, they could do bourbon casks, I'm not sure, but they all yield kind of light tropical fruits. And this is kind of a medium color, for 1960s Bowmore, it's kind of a light to medium gold. It's beautiful, especially when the light shines through. I mean, oh, wow. Has a, wow. Has a whiskey ever been more fruity, more just fresh fruits? N no, this is, this is as fruity of a whiskey as I've ever noticed. I mean, I've had it a few times before as you guys can see and um it's just an explosion of these tropical fruits mango pineapple peaches melons grapes there's honey There's crystallized ginger, there's, there's lemon candy, mandarin, orange, grapefruit. Oh, I'm just gonna nose it a little while, let Mike talk. This is such a beautiful nose, I mean, wow. You hear stories about, if you guys have ever heard of, the, the famous uh, independent bottler, Samaroli. Italian guy, uh, Silvano Samaroli, legendary bottler, but it's known as maybe the best whiskey ever. It's Bowmore 1966, same year, same vintage, called Bouquet, the Bouquet by Samaroli. And this is kind of what it sounds like. Just an explosion of, like you can call it a mango monster, I guess, but fresh, tropical, juicy fruits. It's amazing that after being 40 years in wood, 
that it smells this fresh. I'm not getting any dryness, any off-putting notes, any sulfur whatsoever. So you know that that single cask was of phenomenal quality. The Beaumore Bouquet, I believe, is 18 years, which is one of the reasons why they're so fresh, so much less wood exposure. So the fact that this smells that juicy, that fresh, is amazing to me. But basically everything, everything Narby said, every juicy tropical fruit you can think of, yeah, you could crystallize, candied, it's amazing. Yeah, you could just sit here and name as many fruits as you could possibly think of, and there's another 10,000 fruits in here that you've never experienced. It's funny because I remember sharing some tasting notes with someone who, who's not a single malt drinker, and he enjoys alcohol and he enjoys whiskey, but hasn't really tried a lot of different single malts. And I was mentioning to him some fruity whiskey, and he's like, why don't you just go to the store and buy a bunch of fruit? It's like $5 and get a bunch of fruit. Um, and, I, and I started laughing. I didn't really respond to it because, it, you know, it's a little silly. But if you want to go buy what he said, go to the store and just buy some fruits and compare it to this. Well, I'm telling you, there's like 10,000 different fruits in here that, like, don't even exist in the market. So it wouldn't even be possible. So Bingo. <laughs> it's crazy. It's crazy, crazy good. I'm just gonna go ahead and taste this. I don't want the review to be too long. From what I have read, this, uh, if you wanna get down in the weeds, this cask number 3312 did end up being one of the best single casks of these Beaumore 66s, but I'd imagine they're all amazing. They're probably all like this. This is the only one we've ever tried. Um, nothing can ever beat the nose. The nose, there's just no way that the palate can be as good as the nose, but I guess on the palate I am getting very much similar stuff. And again, how fresh can it be on the palate after sitting in 40 years of wood? Um, I'm assuming this was not a first fill. It could be, but I, I don't think this was a first fill uh, cask. Because I'm getting probably why it's so good. Yeah, I'm not getting you can't, much wood. Yeah, I'm not getting very a lot of wood influence there. It's just so fresh, mm -hmm. just so clean on the palate. Finishes long, as it should be after 40 years. And even though it's bottled at low, um, low ABV around 43 percent, it's very different when it's bottled at 43 percent at cask strength as opposed to if it cask strength it's 50 plus. And you water it down to 43 so this is a cask strength whiskey at 43 percent the reason why the abv has dropped down that low is because it's been sitting in wood for 40 years the bottle says no chill filtering no colorings of any kind oh, no way so it's all old school style making the whiskey just like narby said it definitely drinks like a higher abv it's got nice, nice resinous coverage on your palate, which leads to a nice, long-lasting finish. Um, and, 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 you know, instead of sitting here and, like, trying to name every little thing that I'm experiencing on the palate, as well as the nose, just, just take it as a fruit orchard, as Mike likes to say, just a bunch of different tropical fruits, mainly focused around mangoes, papayas, peaches and melons and just so much other stuff going on in there but it's just a fruit party fresh 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 fruit party not dried fruits fresh fruits it's incredible um we're so lucky to be drinking this i'm gonna score this um a 94 out of 100. i'm actually gonna give it a, a point lower 93 but i'll just uh, second what narby said his friend said, just go to the source, buy the fresh fruits themselves, but it's all about the process. How do you take really clean, pure water, malted barley, a little bit of peat and oak, and make the craziest, most delicious fruits you've ever had in your life? Give these guys credit. It's about the art, it's about the process. Yeah. It's about the results. And just to add final, um, it's, it's not very peated at all. I'm not getting a lot of peat, just very, very light, light peat. It's not heavily peated. Are you experiencing the same thing? Yeah, just a tiny bit, tiny bit yeah. of salt, tiny bit of sure. peat. Sure. Most of those, those fresh, little bit of sea air, a little bit of salt, a little bit of those oyster elements, but very, very light 
compared to other island yeah, species. Yeah, and that, that's typical of Bone Mora. Yeah. You, you get more of the light tropical fruits than you do like Lafroig, Ardbeg, Lagavulin, the heavy peat or smoke or tropical. Well, especially with these older bottles. Yeah. So, anyways, enough talking. I'm going to go ahead and enjoy the rest of my dram, spend a little time with it. And we'll see you guys soon. Take care. Thank you.